Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coolum video. I'm here in Madera, California. This is a, not quite a famous charger, but it's one of the chargers that a lot of people would use on a uh, north-southbound trip in uh, California along Highway 99. It was also a charger that Alex Venz featured in his video where he was using his Model S with the Chatamo adapter to test the public charging infrastructure. He used the one at Chowchilla, passing this one up, thinking it wasn't necessarily faster. I've used it before. It was 100 amp at the time, but apparently EVgo has updated this charger. But the one in Chowchilla that Alex used was still 100 amp. Now, there have been reports of this charger actually charging at 130 amps. And I've seen chargers that supposedly do that before. But other than the display, I didn't really have any way of measuring it, but this time I do. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up, and I, I want to see if I can verify with other tools that it is actually charging at 130 amps, or if it's just some weird error with the display. Basin. Let's see if we can get a 130 amp reading on this. Indeed, we can. All right. Madeira. As you can see from the display here, Nothing goes over 125 amps. Both Torque Pro and the Driver Instrument Center both show the same rate of charge. So it really doesn't look like this station is offering more than that 125 amps. So the 130 amps that's being displayed on the station itself is not accurate. I'm not sure why that error occurs, but don't get your hopes up if you want to two or three minute faster charge. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, so consider that myth busted. It doesn't look like the display is accurate. When it shows 130 amps, it's still only 125, at least from my equipment, my readings, I didn't see a visual difference on the uh, DIC display about power in, Torque Pro, didn't show 130 amps, only showed 125. So, you know, don't believe the hype. But that being said, this is still a 125 amp charger. Now, I think I'm coming up on just about 40 minutes here and uh, I'm about to, to hit the road again. So 40 minute session, but yeah, uh, started at a fairly low state of charge. So let's go ahead and stop it. I'd like to know if you've encountered any of these uh, stations in your travels, uh, what your experiences were with them. I, I know I've seen a few around, but unless the station is clearly advertised as faster than 125 amps, I, I just don't think that's actually happening. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, helps me do videos like this, and uh, thank you for watching.